I love you, I think is what it says. I heart you, smiley face. Must be that relationship was short-lived. All right, well, we are here at the Walkersville Goodwill today. It is packed. I don't know what's happening today. This is my second Goodwill stop of the day. And it is just jam-packed here in the parking lot. So we're going to go in and see what's happening and <laughs> see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Okay, we're going to start here in the figurines. Um, it's actually not that crowded here in the hard goods, so it must be whatever's going on is concentrated over there um, in the clothing. <laughs> what is this? This is zombie, zombie gnome right there. Now's our chance. We may never see another one, but I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> what do we have here? These are kind of pretty, although I think somebody painted those. And that's the pineapple blossom pattern, I believe. And I think somebody put like a yellow coating on those to make them yellow. I don't hate them. I don't hate them. Um, I don't see much in the figurines. This little fellow's kind of cute. Kind of looks like an English figurine, but I think he might be a hobbyist piece. Ooh, he's awfully wobbly. This is a wall clock. This is supposed to be in a set, and it's all by his lonesome. All right, we don't really see much in the figurines today. There's a pretty dish. I think this one is made in Portugal. I'm not positive about that, but I think this is Portugal. Um, it's three dollars and forty-nine cents. What I get for that? I see a little bit of tonala back there. Seven forty-nine on that. The bird on it. Mexico. It's not a souvenir piece, so it, you don't have to compete with Cancun or Cozumel or anything like that. <laughs> the chips are cracks. $7.49. Um, it's got some weight to it. Uh, that, that's a pretty decent piece. It's not worth a ton of money, but I can make a little on that. What do we have here? Urn style rays. really jumping out at me. This is kind of cute. What is this weirdo? It's like a, a weirdo thing. That's like almost as weird as the zombie we just saw. So here is all the creamers, pitchers, cookie jars, all of those things. Uh, I noticed this. This is very sweet. This is a strawberry jam jar. Somebody replaced the spoon, I think. Uh, there is a sticker on the bottom that's likely made in Japan. Looks to be in decent condition for $2.49, so we'll stick that in our cart. And this has some age. I like the tulip design on that. There's a little bit of discoloration on the inside, but it's not a chip or crack. It's marked, what is it marked? Something pottery. Quite make it out. But I do love the tulips. That's really pretty. Okay. <laughs> I'll pick it up. Um, and then up here, what is this? I like the design on that. I think it's contemporary. This, what is that? Blessings Unlimited. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Huh. I wonder if my mom would like that. I don't know. Maybe she would. What is this thing? Is it for cold things? Is it for hot things? I don't know. Maybe I'll buy it for her. If she doesn't like it, I'll sell it. What is this? It also has some age, but I'm not really as excited about that. <laughs> um, and that. that looks like it's contemporary. I actually want to bring you over here because I love the colors of whatever this is. Oh, it's for tacos. <gasps> that is so cool. That is so cool. We don't usually do tacos at our house. Is that a horrible thing to say? Um, that we have that taco restaurant we order from, but I don't usually make, I don't like ground beef. We do pork tacos, but I don't like ground beef. It's, it's weird. I'm not a fan of ground beef, so I don't know. 
Maybe? No, I'm gonna leave it. I see Dorothy Thorpe. I think. What does that little bowl say on it? It says France. It says Akarok, France. Interesting. Ooh, smacking everything around. Normally, uh, when you see this really solid silver band, it's attributed to Dorothy Thorpe. But these are marked Akarok. You have to turn them like this, I think. Um, and I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. These ones are actually marked France. So there you go. It's not always true that the heavy silver band is Dorothy Thorpe. These have proven that. I see a pretty Amori style bowl right there. So let's get a closer peek at that. Hmm. I do kind of like that. I can't tell if it's got any age to it. I don't know. The red is just very vibrant. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> like a really old, ancient Imari bowl, and I'm leaving it behind. Maybe I'll feel guilty about that later. And here we are in the mugs. I kind of like this mug. What is this one? Grace, maybe? I don't know. It still has a sticker on it. I can't quite make it out. Usually when I'm looking at the mugs, I'm looking for like art pottery mugs. Those are my favorite. But if I see something else that really strikes my fancy, I might pick it up. But um, I'm trying to usually focus on art pottery. See anything in the glasses? See a few Coca-Cola mugs. This one might be too best, but I'll never figure that out, no matter how many times you guys tell me one way or the other. My brain just can't really absorb that information for some reason. I just noticed a few uh, Ray Dunn pieces. Nibble. They all say nibble. But I just pulled the Ray Dunn out of my booth because it wasn't selling. And I had like eight bucks, maybe five bucks on the plate. And nobody wanted them. So, so I'm not bothering with Ray Dunn. I have to figure out how to get rid of it now. I think I might list it on eBay. All right, here we are in the candle holders section. Mm, anything? No. Oh, here's some Ray Dunn magenta. Three ninety nine at Home Goods. Two forty nine at the Goodwill. I know some of these bird plates can have some value. The big M, especially, right? Maybe I should look this one up. Seek bird Ray Dunn. Though it doesn't actually say redone right on it. I was getting ready to look it up and I looked down and I noticed this. Hmm. The glaze reminded me of Bill Campbell, but that's not what it says. It says something else. I can't quite make it out, but it has a beautiful glaze. And I love the detail on the handle. It's a really nice picture. Nicely made, $6.49. Yeah, I'll grab that. All right, now let's just finish checking this shelf. And then I will get around to looking up that Ray Dunn. I suspect it's probably not worth a whole lot. That's, that's, what, um, that's what I'm thinking. So that's how I'm like, well, I'll we'll get around to it. I'm not super excited. If I was more excited, I'd look it up immediately. This looks like one of those red, yeah. Red Mill Manufacturing. And he's missing an ear. What are these? These are treasured home. Hmm. Kind of looked like folk art redware. I think that's what they're supposed to look like. But they are not. Here are the creamer and sugar that go with the thing I got for my mom. And he's missing a lid. Eh, I don't know. I'll still pick them up. We'll see what she says. It's a lidless, but maybe she still wants it. <laughs> we'll let her decide. Right. Um, let's go this way. I already looked over here, but there's our pottery. It's all chipped up on the bottom. And then a decanter. It's a nice decanter. See if there's any markings on the base. 
would expect something like this to have an etched marking, but I'm not seeing anything. And there's no stopper. Well, stopper could be replaced, but I don't know if I want to put that much work into it, especially if I can't attribute it to any particular maker. $7 from Marshalls. That has a pretty glaze too. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling today. I'm really struggling. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know, I was hoping that a new cart would get wheeled out while we were here, but I guess I just didn't time it right today. Sometimes I time it just right, and I'm, like, I hit every goodwill on my journey at just the right time, just as new carts are getting wheeled out, but that is not the case today. This looks like Teleflora. This is $2.49. I think this is made out of stone. I went to pick it up thinking it was wood. And it's surprisingly heavy. You can hear my ring against it. Um, so I don't know. No markings. Well, I take that back. There's a smiley face on it. I love you, I think is what it says. I heart you, smiley face. Must be that relationship was short-lived. Um, $2.49. I wonder what, uh, is that obsidian, maybe? Although I usually think of obsidian as being like solid black. This one has some like whiteness to it. I don't know. Maybe I'll grab that. Oh, I still have to look that thing up. I still have to look that thing up. Somebody took this baggie down. There's a nice piece of Irish uh, pottery in there. A cup. How much do you want for it? $6.49. Somebody else must have already checked it out. Oh, look. That makes that perfume bottle. I wonder there's an Irish cup perfume bottle. All those little, that one might be the leak even. I'm gonna try to shift the bag around and see. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it behind. I just, <laughs> as much as I think, you know, hey, I could sell that cup and I could sell that perfume. Um, I don't wanna get stuck with all the other stuff. That's my frame of mind right now. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. That's why I've um, stepped up to having Wednesday whatnot sales every Wednesday. I just, you know, I wanna kinda work on getting rid of this stuff, so um, I don't think I'm gonna buy a bag of things just for one thing. Oh my gosh, look, there's a butt. <laughs> what is this? There's an oil and vinegar. Whole baggie of eggs. I know some of these can be worth money. I actually really like this one. I don't know anything about those stone eggs. There is a cat face in there staring at me. Lots of candles. I wish they had some Lucette candles just hanging out over here. Hey lamps, you look familiar. I'm gonna check out this lamp right here because it does look awfully familiar. I think and that might be Port Marion right here. Oh, let's see. Is it? <laughs> Maybe. I think it might be. I don't know. Crap. Um, I remember Jesse a while back, like a few weeks ago. He had been under yard sale and found a Port Marion lamp. And he sent me a picture. He's like, hey, have you seen one of these before? I was like, no. I don't know if it is or not. Could be. Kind of looks like one. I wish I could Google and search here, but the signals are always really rough. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll go try to find a signal. Okay. So I think this may be just a look like Port Marion because I looked up Port Marion lamps. I couldn't do a Google and search, but I looked them up and uh, they usually have the name of the flower on the bottom, just like the plates do. Um, and nowhere on this lamp does it say like, the Latin name of the flower, like um, the other pieces of Port Marion, I find. So I'm gonna put this back. I don't think it is. I think it's just a look like. Granted, it's worth more than seven dollars and fifty cents, but I don't want to mess with a lamp that isn't Port Marion. All right, so I looked up Seek Sandpaper Magenta. Here's two results. Not very promising. Granted, this is a dish, but I don't know. Seek Sandpaper Magenta. I think I'm gonna put that back. So I tried texting my mom a picture of this. I think it went through, so I'm gonna give her a call and see if she saw it. 
All right, well, I just heard back from mom and she says that she does want the coffee pot set. So I'm going to grab that for her. Um, and then I'm going to put this back. Um, I think this is actually intended to go here in the plate section. Ooh, what is that thing? I'm gonna put that over here and I'm gonna pick that up and get a closer look at that. That's got like an evil thing happening. Syracuse, China. That's pretty neat. Andrew might like that. <laughs> put something down, pick something up. There's an eagle crust on that, so um, I'll grab that and show that to Andrew for $4.49. Um, what else was it? Oh yeah, the lamp. We gotta put the lamp back and then we're gonna get out of here. I think we spent enough time walking around looking at things. And unfortunately, no fresh parts, so there's no point in sticking around any longer. Oops, here we go. Right back where I found it. Oh my gosh. This sculpture is so much fun. Reptile retailer. <laughs> I don't know if I want to buy that, but I'm gonna grab that. 1973. D. Kemen. Dykeman. Dykeman, that's what it says. Yeah, we're gonna grab that. I was just getting ready to leave, and I'm standing here in the candle uh, sticks, and I noticed that there was a fairy light. I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but it would, it would take me reaching through the shelves. And there's currently somebody standing over there, and I didn't want to be rude. I'm gonna wait for them to pass. Oh, never mind. Maybe. If she doesn't set it, maybe she'll set it back. Maybe, we'll see. Is she gonna set it back? <gasps> the moment of truth. We'll see. We'll see, she might take it with her. Gosh, she's got, she's got eagle eyes. She's got eagle eyes, I totally missed that. setting it back. We're going to go around and we're going to snatch it up. That's what's going to happen right now. Oh, fairy light. <laughs> Alright. I think this was actually glued together by someone. How much do they want for it? $4.49. Alright, I'll take the fairy light. You know what? I'm seeing fresh stuff on the shelves. But I didn't see a new cart come out. Maybe I was just oblivious to it. Or I don't know. Alright, let's head up towards the checkout. The color of this ashtray just caught my eye. <laughs> I know it's an ashtray, but I love that blue. It's so blue. And there's a flower in the center. I think I'm going to grab this as well. So it's uh, $2.49. I peeled the sticker back a little to see what the design was underneath, and it's a, it's a flower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> it looks fine. I glimpsed it behind the thing. I thought, oh my god, is that Potosi? It's not. False alarm. That was exciting though. It was exciting for a second, and then it wasn't. Alright, my total spend here at this Goodwill was $48.10. Um, I think my favorite find was that last minute reptile retailer. That was my favorite. I don't even care if it's worth a ton of money. I think that was the coolest thing that we found today. Um, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm gonna head on down the road to the next Goodwill. You guys are gonna have to wait for that video and I will see you later tomorrow. So long.